Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'll be doing my review on iFlash from Loopware, which is a flashcard application for your Mac. So let me just start it up here. So once you start up iFlash, you'll be welcomed with a welcome screen where you have a few options. Uh, one to create a new DAC, open a new DAC that you already saved, import a new DAC from, for example, a text file, or even the DAC library, which is an online DAC library where you can upload your DACs as well as download other people's DAC, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't need to do the work and it's already done for you in some cases at least. Uh, so let me just create a new deck here to show you how this works. So you can for example create a new deck for each year or each sem semester you have. And in each deck you can also create categories. So let me create a category, for example French. And well the, fr the main interface is really easy. Uh, you create a new card, for example front side uh, you do the English word and then the back side you do the French word. Uh, and then you have created a card. So creating a card is really, really simple. So once you've created a bunch of cards, you can uh, export it to iPhone, iPod Touch, a text file, or even to older iPods. So the cool thing about iPhone and iPod Touch is that there is an actual application on the App Store which is totally free and you can download it and it makes it really easy to sync between your Mac and your iPhone or iPod Touch, of course. And uh, so that's a pretty cool export feature. And then I want to go, before going through the preferences, I want to quickly show you the deck library. So we have an example. Uh, so the deck library, again, you'll need to create an account. And here you have the option to upload your own deck or download uh, the available decks online. So it's going to load up the decks and they've got over 4,500 decks. And some decks are really, really big. For example, here, um, 4,700 cards is French words and phrases. Simply click download gonna download it doesn't even take that long for 5,000 words almost boom I already have it and uh, you're good to go so you've got all your French uh, well you got first in English and then your French words and uh, you can select what cards you want for example you want all these words you want to put them in one category so it's really easy to drag uh, stuff so it's really drag and drop Boom, you want those, and you drag and you drop in, the, in those categories. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's for the drag and drop and the cards. So now we have a bunch of cards here. Uh, I'm going to show you how the actual study works. So you click on study, and you have a few options here uh, in which order you want to show the cards. So first front side, then back side. Uh, which category you want, only the French or all cards in general. Uh, of course, you can make. Uh, multiple categories and then you have more study options for example you want maximum 20 cards you don't want to do any more uh, you're in a rush for example I don't know and uh, once you're good to go you hit study and you get your card so uh, you have a few shortcuts to make your life uh, easier and you can check out those shortcuts in the preferences here so right here you have a few shortcuts so obviously left and right is going uh, previous or next card and then up or down it's just flipping the card uh, and if you know it you can check the known or hit space it will automatically check it for you you can also to uh, toggle full screen if you really want full attention on your uh, study here and of course you can change the color of the background right now it's purple by default it's black and you can change that in whatever color you want so that's pretty cool preference too so that's for the actual studying uh, you have a few options here of flagging a word so for example one word is really difficult you know you never remember it you keep uh, forgetting it boom you flag it so next time you know which one are more important to learn uh, you can also attach an image or uh, yeah you can attach an image uh, to your card to your flashcard as well as an audio uh, file if you want to add audio for example you're doing a music test or whatever and uh, an image for an art test I don't know it's great to have those two features um, so now I've explained the way the cards works and stuff like that. Uh, we'll be going over the preferences here of iFlash. Um, so in the general preferences, we have uh, what iFlash has to do when it starts up. So right now by default, it show the welcome window, and then you have a few other options: create automatically a new deck, uh, open most recent deck, show deck library, or simply do nothing. Uh, then you have the option to check automatically for updates when it launches and as well the auto backup feature which is also a great feature uh, if you do not save your cards for five minutes 
Uh, it's automatically gonna save your cards after five minutes if you do not save them manually. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then in the editor again, a few different uh, features here. Uh, audio, you can change the compression of your audio. Uh, that's pretty advanced and stuff. Um, your trash, you can immediately delete the cards so they don't go through trash. Uh, you drag and drop, stuff like that. Pretty cool uh, options here. They've got quite a lot of preferences for such a small application. I really like that. Uh, then for the card show, you've got a few effects here as well. Eye candy, the flip effect, uh, keyboard enable keyboard navigation. So what I just showed you, the arrows and the keyboard shortcuts, uh, speech option even, the full screen. As I said, you can change the color of this to whatever you want. I had it in purple. You can put it in yellow or simply in black. Uh, it's totally up to you. And uh, one card is known, go to the next one, so automatically goes to the next card. So that's pretty straightforward. Then in the advanced option, uh, you have a few advanced options, obviously. Uh, interface effects, enable interface effects, uh, table view, show beginners tips in the table view, inspector, make side so Well, you can all read that yourself. Uh, they're pretty advanced, um, but still pretty handy preferences there. So that's uh, iFlash. I'm going to quickly go back to my deck viewer here. And uh, it's a great way to organize your flashcard, really, the drag and drop feature is great, the syncing to your iPhone, iPod Touch, great. Uh, you can also, if you have, for example, a text um, file and you have on one line you have the word in English and then the second line you have the word in French, you can import those as well and it does actually work pretty well. Uh, so you can also import words from uh, a text file. Um, so quickly going over the inspector, if you don't know what that is, uh, if you click on one card you have simply the inspector is to edit um, whatever English to French and you can go to the next card every time and uh, you can also record your own voice uh, for example this abime well you can boom record abime and then for the next time you know so that's pretty cool too so you can play it off or simply delete it so I'm gonna delete it for now so you can also add a uh, voiceover that's pretty cool and one thing I want to show you as well once you study um, you have also the option of editing straight onto uh, your study so you can um, if you made a mistake somewhere boom you can study right away so uh, that's about iFlash so I'll thank you for watching uh, be sure to check iFlash out at loopware.com I think it is well anyway I'll put a direct link to the application in the description below and uh, I'll be also making a giveaway pretty soon on this application, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.